Leonardo DiCaprio may already have one of the best real estate portfolios in Hollywood, but he doesn't stop there. He recently snagged a new oceanfront Malibu estate for $13.8 million, far away from the downtown traffic. Not to mention, Leo paid over $7 million in May of this year for a charming Los Feliz abode for modern family actor Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Today, we'll look at where Leo calls home, including his latest property purchases. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residence because it's not safe for anyone. Leonardo DiCaprio is an actor, producer, and more known for playing unconventional roles in films as well as other impressive performances. As of 2019, his movies have grossed over $7.2 billion worldwide, and he's been placed multiple times in rankings of the world's highest paid actors. At the time of this recording, Leo's amassed a net worth of about $260 million or more. While Leo is spending a small fortune on his new properties in Malibu and Los Feliz, he still owns a three-home compound in the Bird Streets neighborhood of LA over the Sunset Strip, which is his main residence. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one looking at the brand new homes of Leonardo DiCaprio. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat. And now let's get into this video. First, we'll check out one of Leo's properties he's put on the market listed in August of this year for $5.75 million. Leo actually purchased this crib for his dad, George DiCaprio, for $4.91 million back in 2018 off of Musician Moby. It's unknown where Leo's pops is moving to, but the new Los Feliz abode we'll look at next it was rumored to either be an upgrade for his dad or a house for his mom. Anyways, back to this crib. The current home for sale, also located in the Los Feliz neighborhood of Los Angeles and called Red Oak Manor was subject to a trespasser back in 2019, so the move could be for privacy reasons. Inside, the home spans 4,644 square feet of space defined by vaulted cathedral ceilings throughout, and there are also five beds and 6.5 baths. The home is full of spacious common rooms with soaring ceilings and hardwood floors. Walking in the home, there's a large entryway leading to a dramatic living room with fireplace. In fact, the median family room boasts a tower ceiling which opens to a large outdoor living area and the pool. Nearby, there's a state-of-the-art kitchen and pantry as well. Other features in the house include dual master bedroom suites upstairs, both with luxury bathrooms and walk-in closets, and one even has its own loft with study area. Some bonuses elsewhere in Leo's dad's former house are an office, as well as a guest suite with secret entryway, connecting you to another full bathroom and a steam room. Out back, the lot boasts a pool, hot tub, indoor and outdoor dining, and more, all surrounded by gardens. The the entire property has a gated driveway and privacy hedges lining it. Since that home hit the market in May 2021, Leo purchased an upgraded Los Feliz pad, which is thought to be either for his father George or for his mother, and this one is even more stunning. Leo scored the property for $7.1 million off of modern family actor Jesse Taylor Ferguson, and it sits on just over half an acre in the trendy Los Feliz hood. Aside from the actor who formerly owned it, the abode here has even more of a Hollywood history, being sold in 1998 to Gwen. Stefani and Gavin Rossdale, and Gwen made plenty of rock star worthy upgrades to the home during her time here. She even installed the backyard swimming pool before she sold it in 2007. Built in 1928 and described as quirky in the past, Leo's new purchase is a late 1920s Spanish colonial house or villa, boasting 4,926 square feet of space. The home has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a lot of character. Moving past big gates, a long driveway, and a flight of steps, you'll reach this home's original hand-carved front door. There's also a lush outdoor terrace encased by a succulent garden as well. Walking in the impressive home, there's a stunning rotunda entryway with original terracotta tile floors, stone block walls, and a stenciled ceiling. In fact, the entire house mixes original architectural details, old Hollywood glam it seems. A spacious living room boasts soaring beamed wood ceilings and a stone fireplace, while just around the corner, there's a cozy office with wood panel walls. I'm already loving the colorful palette chosen for the home, as well as the art doorways for an old world feel. The formal dining room has a wooden hand stenciled ceiling and blue walls, 
along with a glam chandelier and French doors outside. The two-story library is decked out in a teal color with unique furnishings and artwork. Nearby, the kitchen brightens things up with white walls and offers a wooden work island, along with stainless steel wolf and sub-zero appliances and a wine fridge. This Los Feliz home even has a family room that can convert into a movie theater with the push of a button and comes complete with a drop-down projector screen, electronic blackout curtains, and plush carpeting and seats. Whoever Leo purchased this amazing home for can enjoy the upstairs master suite that's fashioned in a more neutral look with calming colors and natural lights. The attached bathroom, while fitted with modern upgrades, still keeps the vintage style. Outside, there's a cute tiled courtyard which doubles as a dining terrace offering an outdoor fireplace, colorful water feature, and string lights. I absolutely love this space. There are several other outdoor lounge spaces in the property, including one deck in the treetops with a comfy sectional bench seat, fireplace, Pit and views of LA. One patio even has amazing views of the nearby Griffith Observatory. The property is set into a steep hillside and the gorgeous pool and spa is even built with a couple of levels as well as waterfalls. Earlier this month, it was reported that Leo treated himself to some new real estate too, if the former was for a family member. The A-lister dropped $13.8 million for an oceanfront retreat in Malibu secluded in a private area far west of downtown LA. Back in the day, Leo owned three Malibu homes in the ocean, but unloaded one in 2009, and another much larger one outside Malibu Colony was sold in 2013 for $17.4 million. I've been a rich man, and I have been a poor man, and I choose rich every fucking time. Yeah! It seems the more modestly sized third house owned by Leo just came up for sale now with a $10 million asking price, so he may soon just have this new spot to call home, as well as the vacant lot he bought on top of Malibu's Paradise Cove for $23 million. However, he hasn't done much to develop that property since. The new $13.8 million pad was never publicly offered on the open market, so we don't know what the interiors of Leo's new Malibu space will look like just yet. Records show the two-level home was built in 2005 and spans 3,000 268 square feet of space with four beds and five baths. It's also designed in a traditional style and situated atop a secluded and peaceful sandy beach tucked away in blue whale estates. This is a little known gated community consisting of only five homes with direct ocean access and it's safe to say Leo will get some privacy here. If Leo's other abode that's up for sale on top of the exclusive carbon beach should sell close to the asking price of 10 mil, Leo is essentially set to make a boat sized fortune. He just the house in 1998 for a mere $1.6 million. So now we've checked out the homes of Leonardo DiCaprio, including his newest property purchases in Los Feliz and Malibu. While we can't see the interior of the new Malibu abode, I really love the look of the Los Feliz one. The unique and charming design both inside and out of that home is perfect. That's what I call a dream house. It has so much character and style, not to mention it kept a lot of the original detail. I love the two-story library with colorful walls, all the outdoor courtyards and terraces, including including the impressive pool. Let's not forget that Leo's main home isn't even any of these properties. It's said to be his three home compound in the Bird Streets neighborhood of Los Angeles. Directly overlooking the Sunset Strip, this compound is made up of three combined properties with three swimming pools and a sports court. After looking at Leo's homes, which was your favorite? Or what room or feature did you like at the Los Feliz house best? Be sure to let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.